Hello, I'm Sam Crow. Um, I've got a Facebook page called Art on a Jelly Plate um, and another one called Altered Arts and Crafts. Um, I've been promising a few videos for a while on jelly plate work um, uh, and I keep making them and they get too long or they, it doesn't work out or whatever so I thought I'd give it another go. Um, I'm doing a project, I'm doing um, a challenge for the Craft Stamper magazine and it's the challenge is to use an artifact or, or whatever you want to use to use some paint, some paper, there's lots of different things at the list and you can pick a few out of it. So I got this from the MDF man uh, at the weekend so it's a obviously a tissue box cover so I'm going to paint this up and um, I'm going to take some prints off my jelly plate directly onto it I'm going to also take some prints directly onto some deli paper to make the coup patch paper then I'm going to stamp it all up, mess about with it and make it look pretty. I won't have time to do all of that on the video, obviously. So I'm just going to do little bits of each to show you where I'm going. And then I might come back and, and show you the how I finished it off and everything, if I get a chance. So, basically, I, I was going to do the jelly straight onto here, but I've decided to do full coverage of the lighter colour first and then come back in with the jelly plate. It'll just work better, I think. Um, helps if you take the wood off as well. I'm using fresco paints, I love fresco paints, lovely chalky, get a good grip to the wood, just brilliant to work with, beautiful colours as well. So I normally paint with a sponge when I'm doing wood, it's just easy, you get a nice smooth coverage, there's no um, bush marks or anything. It doesn't have to be perfect, I don't, I'm not looking for perfect because I don't, I don't want it to be perfect actually, because when I get my jet deli prints, I want you to be able to see bits underneath as well. So this is going to go quite a bit darker yet. Um, but I'm just doing a quick base coat. You can see I've already had a little go, but um, that was another video where it all went wrong. So <laughs> hopefully, the, fingers crossed, this one will we'll get something out of this one. Um, I'm aware of not making them too long as well because um, I'm not sure how to speed things up and everything and how to talk over them. So I, I'll just, you know, I'll get there in the end. But I do like making videos. I do like showing people what I do and people ask me to do videos on the jelly plate and that so so this is it this is my mission to get sorted with this and get to know how to use the youtube videos and everything people said they like it rough and ready <laughs> they're certainly gonna get that all right so i'm just there you go i'll do the inside later i always do the inside you can't leave them out so um for the top i'm gonna come back come in with the um i'm gonna come in with my dark color um, because I want it to show through so I'll be doing some decoupe patch paper in the dark colour, some in the light and I'll be mixing it up I'll be doing some, some patterns with cloudy stencils um, and I use cloudy stamps as well so I'll be getting some of them on some of the pattern stamps from the journal set I think I'll be using some of those and, and maybe some of the ladies so I do love the ladies I love dressing ladies and colouring them and whatever so right it's beautiful colour this isn't it so see you can see how easily and quickly you can paint a piece of wood with a sponge it's so easy to do and these paints the fresco paints just dry really quickly too so oh, I like that with a bit of a bit of the lighter colouring almost like marbling in it right so anything that gives interest really just keep it if you find it, keep it. So that's that. So that'll dry in no time at all. So let's get some pattern going on here. I'm going to try and stick with the same colours. I might change my mind. I, I often do. I love colour, uh, but I love too much colour sometimes. So um, I've got to hold myself back sometimes. So obviously, I, I want to work with these two, which is the um, the Antarctic and the um, Baltic Blue. They're both opaque, so I'm going to do all the opaque colours first and then I'm going to come back in with some translucents because um, they, they sit lovely over the top of the opaque and you can see through, obviously, the translucent. So you can still see the colour underneath So and they're lovely to stamp with as well. But if you um, put opaque on opaque, obviously, the whole thing gets covered up. So um, I've also got Space Cadet, with, which is like an in-betweeny colour. This one might not work. I might end up swapping it, um, but we'll see. Let's see how we go. So, I'm just going to get some pattern on here, get something going and just, I always just go with the flow, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't, 
I don't plan much. I just know I want to paint something and, and cover it with jelly prints. And then I just start and see what I get. So I, I do kind of have an image in my head of where I'm going, of course. It's very rare I get to exactly what's in my head. So let's just see. So let's just get some pattern going in here. Random pattern. I'm going to take that off as much as I can. Right, so that would be lovely. I'm going to take that now because I can see that's nice. I'm going to stick it straight onto the jelly plate. Uh, the jelly plate, the wooden, the MDF box. So let's see what we get. Yeah, see, beautiful, isn't it? So I knew that was going to happen. That comes when you play with the jelly plate. You get to know what's going to work, what isn't. You're not always right, but, you know. So I just want loads of interest in I love it when you, when you turn something around and it's kind of completely different on all the different sides. So I'll probably have a little play with that in a while when when I've got all my base colours down and that. There's going to be a lot um, going on here. It's proper mixed media piece it's going to be. There's going to be grunge paste, there's going to be stamping, there's going to be everything on it. Um, just because I can, really. Because this is just a project for me. I can use whatever I want, do whatever I want. So I'm just going to go to town with it see what I get. If it doesn't work out I'll just scrape everything off and start again that's all. I haven't lost anything. So just get some pattern going again. Some dots. I love dots. You can't get enough dots. So uh, isn't that gorgeous? I've a bit coming across the corner here. Lovely. I've got a bit of that corner. So so it's a good thing about these little jelly plates, you just flop them around anywhere. Love them. So let's go a bit different on this one. This is one of my favourite stencils. It's, it's one that Cloudy bought out, oh, I don't know, um, I think a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I just constantly get it out. I just love it. Let's see if it, I'm not sure if it's worked on here, but let's see. Slightly, I'll come back over that with white later on. I think so. Right, so that's lovely. That one in there, look at that. So let's go now. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I want the dark color on because if I don't have the dark color on, when I put the lights on, you're not gonna see anything. When I put the pattern in, you're not gonna see anything. So obviously, we want to keep going, but I, I just want to build up the interest, I want to build up all the layers. Just get as much out of this as I can for the background. And then you, when you start the forefront, you're literally halfway there. And then, you know, you just keep going and going and going. When you've got the translucent paint, see, you can just keep going. <laughs> Good grip. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I would even say now, really, we need um, now. See, I'm doing it again, trying to put a different colour in. I'll stick to my colours for now, for now, for now. Will I? No, I won't. Okay, I'm going against my grain. I'm gonna see. This is how I work. <laughs> so, and you do get some nice results when you just go with it. So, this is gorgeous. This colour. This is. Um, Chartreuse, 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 I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, Chartreuse, it's a translucent, it's just, oh, it, with this blue, the Baltic blue, it's just gorgeous, look at that, now that's a print you're looking for, isn't it, so, beautiful, all just adding interest, more and more interest, let's go, Oh, lovely, loving that. See, now now my colours are starting to work for themselves. I'm not having to think about this now, because I know where I'm going. We need a bit of that one there, don't we? So, I'm going to stick with this pattern for now, because there's going to be, a lot of this is going to be recovered and stuff again anyway. So, I, I, I never used to understand that in mixed media, why they do the gorgeous backgrounds and then they cover them up again, but... Now I do know because just a tiny bit of something shown through another two or three layers, it just it just looks fabulous. It just makes it. 
so it's worth doing it all and covering it but just keeping a little bit you know behind and that's a bit that really pops off really in the end so I'm going to keep stick with this this is another one of my favorite stencils I'm going to come back over here because that wasn't very dark I'm going to do it again right okay not a problem so I'm going to get rid of this so not a problem I'm assuming you can see what's wrong with that it's just it's not working absolutely not working so I'll come back in beautiful then and I'll tell you what else I keep trying to work with the yellow jelly plate and I love it as just has proper proper circles but go, putting it with the oblong I, I can't seem to get them together because it it bugs me for some reason <laughs> so I think when I do the circles I'll mostly be using circles on their own because you can get some gorgeous effects but um you know mixing that uh, well it's me it's just me I can't mix straight and circular together <laughs> it's a weird thing that I've got right so now I'm going to bring more of the um space cadet back in which is it's slightly lighter than this one I've been using so actually let's go let's do some of this so I want to keep some of the green in for this. I don't want this all too pale, but I want it I want it interesting. So I'm just gonna mix up my colours a little bit now. See where we go. This is my clean up one at the moment, see. I, I, I swap as I see what's which one is getting the most pattern and most interest and one of them becomes me me pat me paint palette where I just wipe everything off but eventually that'll be the interesting one so I just keep swapping from jelly plate to jelly plate to see which one's looking the best which is the one I want to work with really I want to bring some of the light into there So there, so that's a good start to get patterning. Again, I'm going to stick with this pattern because I'll be changing my pattern later. So I don't want to obliterate everything. Hmm. Don't want, no, no, no. So I'm going to, that didn't work because it just smudged it. So I'm going to come in with this with a very paper. Just to take some of the paint out, see. See, look, it's not beautiful. I can use that now. Take this off. Let's get this. Let's get going over the centre like that. Beautiful. See, now I can do something here. I can do some edging, make it stand out against that. So I'm going to leave these for now. I, I like that as it is. Isn't that beautiful as it is? I'll varnish it up and stuff. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I might even make it a darker, but we'll see. So now this one, this is beautiful now. So I want this on my deli paper. Um, I'm going to come in with this blue, the um, Baltic blue. It's an opaque, and I, just because I want it to pick all this pattern up. Okay, but I, I'm going to do it quite thin. I don't want it totally obliterated and sometimes see with jelly paper you can turn it around to see which is the best way anyway it doesn't there's no right or wrong way so, so let's at the moment I'm doing it onto the shiny side see how it sucks it up a lot yeah see the jelly paper doesn't pull it off like a normal paper card would but it doesn't matter because I'll come back with a light on there so these aren't really going with anything are they so let's do some do like that though could that be an edge could it be an edge let's have a look mm, maybe 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 let's see no it's nothing spectacular is it I could have I could have done that with a paintbrush so no it's got to be some a bit more fancy than that so 
I'll come back. And I think the edge look is going to work, though, definitely. You can see that, can't you? The three portions. So um, let's keep going and just see, just see what we get. I'm thinking, like, Scottish Harlequin kind of look now. It's kind of... Can you see it? I can. <laughs> so let's see which side we're going to work on now. I like that as it is. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to do some stamping on, on that or, or stamp on the deli paper and stick it on. That side, I like that. I might do a little bit, some a little bit of green there and a little bit of blue there to balance it out slightly more. That side, I like that. It just needs a bit more there. So um, I think now we've got to come in with the blood orange, don't you think? get that going so with the blood orange i'm going to do some pattern transfer i'm just going to put this on my deli paper here because it's looking quite nice i do love the yellow jelly plates just have a thing about circles i can only keep circles with circles for some reason right so look at that for a color isn't that delicious just beautiful so this is my palette now this one this is a translucent look you can see see how it's going see through um oh, look at that you could just stick that on a card couldn't you right so i'm still still sticking with this pattern at the moment just because i want to and because i can because i can There, that's what we're looking for. Can you see that? That's beautiful, isn't it? So let's get that on here. Pattern transfer from one jelly plate to another. You can't beat it. I get some of my best patterns that way. It just look beautiful. See that when I pick that up later, that'll be gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna put a bit of this on. I just wanna. Like, it's just like stamping really and it needs just a teeny bit I think no I'll blot that out that's all right should I should I no 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 I think a tiny bit no I'll come I'll come in with a little one see because I want to I want to uh, just do it in specific like a stripe or join them up so, somehow with it but um yeah I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> i know what i'm talking about and i know what i'm thinking so i'll just show you it's hard to explain what i'm thinking what's in my head sometimes <laughs> so this see this is too dark so i'm going to put this onto my daily paper Sounds like I'm saying jelly, doesn't it? Deli jelly paper. And I want what I had before, see? That'll do. What I want is what I did here. So, oops, do not put that the wrong way around or you'll damage the jelly plate. I normally use a bigger brayer, but because I'm using these, I wanted to use the little one. There, so I'm just going to pick that pattern up there, see? And then I'm just going to transfer it. That's what I was trying to say. There you go, just a tiny bit. So, and then I'm going to pick another tiny bit up because I want a bit there. And another tiny bit. And there. Yes, that's it. That's what I was looking for. So now this one, let's see what we're going to do. I think um, a tiny bit of green with this one. I love that, but it's very blocked, isn't it? So, um, I want... I want loads of interest because I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do loads to it. <laughs> so the background needs to be really interesting because um, what I do on top is gonna be specific to the background, I think. It, the background is gonna be it, really, what it's all about. So, oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, so it's a little bit of that there. No, so what I want, really. Just dab that on the jelly plate again. I want to pick this up, don't I? This is gorgeous. I could go in with this jelly plate. We'll fill too much of an area, see? So I just I just want to be specific where I put it, see? It's, ah, it's not working for some reason. 
I'm getting too much yellow. So let's um okay then I'll come in with this one. Yeah, that, that'll do. Because I, I didn't get the pattern, but I have got a bit more interest in there. So that one's fine. So this one, see this here? I'm going to try and just get a little bit of that onto here. Just at the end. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I could really go even more mad because some of this i can mute it down with the snowflake anytime and the snowflake if you if you sponge it um with the um tim holtz sponges um you can get it so thin that it's see-through but it mutes everything down as well so it's brilliant for stamping on top of so at the moment then i'm, I'm gonna leave that i love the dark top i love that bit um that needs a bit more working on but i'm getting there and I like it. It needs more blue. Um, that I just just like that. I know for a fact I'll have to fill that in now because that's me. But I'll do that with the stamp. And that I think looks really interesting. So can you imagine you go for a little tissue? You've got all these lovely bits of interest. So on the inside, I'm going to use all my deli paper. I'm going to decoupage it into it and um, make that look pretty as well. Uh, I'm going to work on that a little bit more. So what I'll do, I'll do a second video. When I've done all my deli papers um, and I start stamping and I'll come back and show you in video too how it all ends up. So thank you for watching and I hope you come back. Thank you. Bye.